Good afternoon, fellow survivors, and welcome back to another episode of the Survival Hand Guide. Travel is here, and uh, first place, and last day on Earth. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit up that bunker, Alpha. Uh, I'm uh, working my way through another set of challenges in order to unlock another raid. The same seems to be not so bad. They want me to. Floor 2 of Bunker Alpha and take on the blind one, so we should be doing these things. Uh, I've already started Floor 2, I'm going to be honest, I had to come back home and craft up a couple of machetes, and I decided to bring in some armor with me, uh, so that I can take on the blind one without having to transport hence the guns as well. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, we can make it past the second half of floor two, which is those two machines, and uh, I believe I left a pistol behind, and uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes, I don't really want to break into the ARs for frenzied giants, but I'm not going to do that after that, because um, again, I'm not uh, paying for anything in this game, and so I don't really have all that much resources to work with, I'm doing with as much as I can with what I have and what I find in the game, um, so just let this load on through really quick, we'll drop some things off in my green ticket crate that I managed to open up when I came in. And uh, I'll use that as my storage bin while I'm doing the bunker alpha until such time as I can unlock another crate. So we'll drop off a couple of guns and we'll make a couple of pistols, there we go. And some pan we'll take some. I want to save those med packs for uh, taking on the blind one there, so I should be alright. This should be good. Got a couple of machete and that pistol in play, and uh, we can leave this armor behind. We don't need it right now. Free up some inventory slots. Go ahead and use up this uh, old armor that we already had in our inventory. Machete, first bandages in the play, and away we go. So yeah, like I said, I just gotta finish out clearing out uh, floor four, floor two here of the bunker. Um, I've gotten halfway through, give or take. I've gotten the machine gun. I may have left a zombie or two behind on the way, but uh, go ahead and make sure everything's cleaned up, nice and tidy as we make our way around the loop and back to the elevator. Yeah. yeah, see I skipped the abominations because I was rolling through here with uh, this golf club. Uh, it's alright, it does the job, but you know, it's not exactly the most effective weapon in the arsenal. Uh, I'm just going to... tickets at all? No, nothing. Alright. I'm not necessarily the most tactical when it comes to going through this bunker. Um, I do kind of keep track of damage output versus the, da the hit points of the zombies I'm facing, but uh, uh, oh, right. This is where we stopped last time. This guy will take you out with a fancy swipe, uh, hence the pistol in the inventory. So we'll go ahead and swap that back in. We are out of band-aids, so, uh, happened here. There we go. So we'll go ahead and, uh, now down on some jerky as needed. See if you're giving us anything good in here. I guess I do have to clear out this uh, this floor, so I will have to take on those two. Otherwise, eh, I might get a yellow ticket out of the deal. So, uh, 
and I'm not getting a chest on the other side, so there's no real point unless you have to. And well, I have to. So we'll go ahead and take these two on. See if we can separate them a little bit. Taking on one of these guys at a time. Uh, especially as I'm again going to go on here. Wake up and can of beans pretty quick. ticket. Oh, I got two yellow tickets. What do you know? There's one more place to search in here. Go ahead and do all that. We're munching on some jerky. Some green ticket. Those come in handy later on for making bandages. And, uh, I guess we're eating baked beans. Nah. So, yeah, I cleaned up this and I got as far as the turret and then uh, we're on our own from here oh okay maybe I got this far as that I do like the machete it is kind of expensive in terms of materials but uh, it's fairly effective And it's very quick. So it allows me to hack through a lot of these lower level zombies fairly quickly and is uh, capable of taking on the higher level ones as well, which is nice. So uh, before I do anything here, I am going to create my way around. And activate this terminal. Uh, this gives me access now to do the full loop uh, if necessary. I can choose where I want to type these zombies as they come hoarding at me shortly. But I'm gonna clear out behind here first. Go ahead and equip some pistol action. to be able to, okay, we got a float of bloater, got a float of bloater, uh, there's more than likely there's two float of bloaters in there, so I'm going to go ahead and equip Chate, and, uh, oops, don't forget to put the health back in, I do that sometimes, and we'll go ahead and put on the float of bloater. Next time, please. Oh, we lost our hat. I'm gonna bring him back here so I can keep him separated. Wins these two. Not cool, 
guys. Not cool. Not cool at all. Alright, well, this is not working out quite as planned, so we will use the pistol on this. I just don't have enough health to do this game here. Take out the other one from the machete. Uh, well then. So yeah, we just managed to eat our way through our entire supply of heal ups, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check in here. Did they mail me any more? Nope. But I do have one juicy steak. And two cans of baked beans. We'll do it. Whoops, not that. that. That's all she wrote. So now we're gonna have a mess of zombies and then a frenzied giant to deal with. And then two frenzied giants. And then two toxic abominations, and I believe another frenzy giant. So, yeah, we're not gonna make it. No, we're not gonna make it. We'll head on back up to top. Oh, right, I did open that door, didn't I? Didn't I? Well, let's see what we can manage. Um, if nothing else, we can fall back to the elevator and uh, make a little trip. Take a little trip. Because I do definitely want to finish clearing out floor two. I want to do a raid tonight. You are my only hope. Something good. 12 of 25. I've only got 36 health. It's not worth risking it as much as I'd love to. We've got a frenzy giant over here though. We can go ahead and deal with him before we go. up some med kits, I suppose, as much as I don't want to use those, because I really, really, really want to do this whole blind one thing as well, take care of that situation, um, that being said, I might not have enough guns to make it through on hard mode to that door so we may well have to make our way back to the base anyway uh we did go ahead we did get ourselves another melee weapon here go ahead and drop off some tins well we're here 14 med kits I could do the rest on carrots, couldn't I? Um, let's do that. Eh. You only live once, right? make our way back down, go ahead and finish clearing out floor to see where we stand and decide from there if it's worth going back to base to pick up more supplies or if we might be able to challenge this red or this hard mode right away. Uh, 
Ooh, right, the door is open. Let's go ahead and equip machete. Uh, let's go ahead and use med kit. And here we go. Sure, keep enough distance from that. Whoa, frenzy giant! Ah, ha 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 ha! I was just hitting that health button. Oh ha ha! Oh ha ha! That's all right. Apparently, we needed to go back and get more supplies. So that's what we'll do. Finish off floor two on carrots and. uh Baked beans, save our med kits for the blind one challenge. And maybe bring along another gun of some sort. Just in case those three break down. Uh, what was I going to Stacks of carrots, but why don't we take them all? And that should be good. Do we have any other worthwhile maybe? A whole bunch of patterns. A whole bunch of stop signs. We do not enter signs, and we've got a hammer. Yeah, we are seriously low on equipment here, ladies and gentlemen. We do have a decent array of guns, these two here being for raids only. But even that is looking fairly empty. Armor chest armory is looking fairly empty. Beacon, beacon, uh, bunker on hold here. Uh, we've got nine minutes, so we are going to shit, 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 shit. All right, uh, we have to do this ridiculously quickly. I'm not going to make it. I don't have my equipment, um, which means my arm, uh, my backpack, or my house. So we're going to go back to the bunker. We can do those at a later date. They pop up quite often. the only thing keeping me in firearms right now though unfortunately and uh, they're actually good for some decent loot on a regular basis not spectacular by any means decent loot I mean get a couple of firearms and a melee weapon you know maybe some like half intact armor you know little bit of resources in, in, uh, in other people's choppers and stuff like that it's pretty decent so I try and hit them up as much as I can unfortunately I'm just not ready for it right now and I got bigger and better things on my mind
and uh, go ahead and equip the AR. <coughs> <coughs> I'll go ahead and dive back down. Now I'm bringing this because I don't have any melee weapons hanging out up top here. I don't have any ever ready to go. And so basically I'm just going to mow down what's left there uh, so that I can gather my body which is going to be hard enough considering it's right in front of a gas chute so uh, that's going to be interesting. And I definitely don't want to lose the things that are in that backpack or the backpack itself as I have lost a couple of those military type backpacks and it really sucks. I mean, you know, the stuff inside is the stuff inside, but when you lose one of those bags, man, uh, it's just... Alright, so... Now, AR used to be able to hold the box. Uh, I highly you see what I'm doing there and just kind of tap and tap, tap, you tap, 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 tap. And uh, that me do this really good gas, take all. Uh, and I missed fucking everything. I, Take all. Alright, let's get out of here. Shit's scary, man. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and equip up our armor that we were wearing. Thank you very much. We got our, kind of our weapons back. We got some health now, finally, on the go, which is awesome. And, uh, let's just finish organizing this. We got our pistol back, or our pistols which we are going to equip because our next room will involve two frenzy giants which may well break the bank in terms of our pistols and we may have to turn to the AR to finish that off as well unfortunately but uh, this is the way this is the way the bulb bounces Luckily, I only do have to clear floor two. I'll probably skip floor three. I usually do two and three. Sometimes I dip into four, but not very often, just because of how many ARs it takes to get through the floor. It's pretty expensive, and so, you know, I just, I just don't. But uh, we got those med kits nestled nicely in the corner there, so they don't get touched. And we'll go ahead and finish off these two friends and giants here and see what it is that they drop for us today. Now, you'll notice I'm targeting here, friends and giant, but that's the one behind the cage. And I want to be careful. I want to get as many hits off as possible. Oh, no. I was supposed to save the remains of that. Alright, well, it looks as though we will end up having to uh, pull out the AR at the end of this, but we'll go ahead and clear it. Let's see how far we can get. A little pop that gun. Marshmallows. Actually, it does pretty decent damage. I mean, I'm doing 18 damage, which is pretty close to what the pistol does. If I'm not mistaken, the pistol only does 20 on these guys. And it is going to be enough to finish off the frenzy jump, which is awesome because I really didn't want to have to use that AR. Thank you very much. Got another red ticket. got ourselves another pistol. Thank you very much. 
see what's in here. We'll make a little cache and then we'll finish this off. Thank you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this here. I'm just going to drop a couple of things that I can come back for. Um, drop a couple of things. Drop a couple of things. Probably don't want to use that. Probably won't get around to that. Don't want to lose that. And I won't need that right now. Alright, that should be good enough anyway. And then that way what I can do is, once I'm done, I can just, uh, you know, have one location that I bring the wheelbarrow to, so to speak. Instead of having to bounce around all over the place. Um, uh, most likely won't get any more of those, and most likely won't get any of those. Um, this is stackable, this is not. Let's go that route. Uh, where are we at? No, we're still at 100. Oh well, yeah, that's right, we didn't really have to take anything on yet. I do agree. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna drop off a stack and a stack. There we go. Let's go ahead and take on some abominations. Nothing. Are you kidding me? Not even a single yellow ticket. We cut through here now, we've already cleaned it out. Go ahead and check on this last crate here and then we can make our way back up to one and uh just assess, assess our situation see where we're at go from there all right nothing spectacular i do of course take everything with me by the end of the day so don't worry i'm not leaving things behind So we're going to go ahead and drop off a bunch of things in that green crate. We're going to take a look at our uh, yellow and red count and uh, see where we're at and uh, decide from there whether or not it's worth going ahead and hitting uh, floor 2 before we engage hard mode. But first, let's just go ahead and empty out our inventory. There we go. Alright, so we have 17 yellow tickets. Uh, we need 25 to open a crate. That means we need another 8 tickets. I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, yeah, 
yeah, that wouldn't be too challenging. Unfortunately, it would be resources. And so, let's take a look at our resources here. We have shotgun, AK, M4, M16s, whoops, and, uh, one set of armor weapons. Um, we're doing pretty decent in terms of health situation, uh, which is good. Um, but we're running really low on melee. And so, let's go reload. Yeah, let's go pick up the last of that stuff. Let's do a melee count, which looks like it's not very high. Maybe two... I got one full machete, one partial machete. I've got a little bit of golf club left. A little bit of a paddle. Yeah, we're kind of close, but uh, this is why I cache here, by the way. Because now I just go like this, and now uh, I've got everything, and I just hit take all there, and then I can go back. So, let's see. Yeah, I've got maybe one and a half machete. Let's go ahead and push it and see how far we can get before we call it quits. Because remember, we don't want to use too much resources. We do want to save resources for the blind one challenge. And uh, we have indeed cleared out for to leaving just the blind one in our way on our path to the next raid. And I am so looking forward to that. I definitely am going to be doing that tonight. There is no question about it, folks. And so we have to decide right now. Is it worth farming yellow tickets or should I save them for later? Let's go farm us some yellow tickets. Floor three, here we go. We need eight yellow tickets. And hopefully that will replace some of the things that we're gonna use in the course of acquiring those yellow tickets. And me by means of my way of a yellow ticket crate. Which can hold all manner of things and hopefully it will contain the things that we are looking for, i.e. wrenches, i.e. guns, i.e. armor. Alright, fight. Stop fighting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh I forgot something here. That was close. And I'm uh, probably gonna have to go back up and get more carrots because I forgot to restock. You need some food? No. Hydration? I appreciate it. But right now I'm looking for food. Alright, we're going to go ahead and uh, take out this uh, toxic spitter over here. Ah, uh, no we're not. That didn't work either. Alright, we are still going to go ahead and take out this toxic spitter. We're going to go back and restock it on. It's no we're not. We're just going to take this guy on. Just enough, I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh, you didn't even drop me anything. One green ticket. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? This is not going well in terms of our search. I was expecting to have two by now. So, let's go ahead and do some AK damage on this turret. Or are we safe? 
What do you got for me today? Yellow ticket, thank you very much. We got ourselves a pistol as well. This is very nice. Oh, and you didn't drop me anything, Mr. Dirt. I'm not happy to see that. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck that AR away, keep it safe. Uh, we're definitely running out of melee weapons at this point. Um, we do, however, have two pistols in our inventory now. We can put our health back where it belongs. Go ahead and use beer, because if I'm not mistaken, it increases speed. And I'm hoping that means attack speed as well. I'm not really sure. But we'll pretend it does. How are we gonna do this? We're not gonna be able to cope. We're not gonna be able to creep on any of them. But we can take down the fast biters first. So we're not taking them all on at the same time. Shetty holds up to the task, because again, I would like to take it home with me. Uh, I haven't found any blueprints for machete uh, upgrades yet, but I would really like that, because this is actually probably one of my favorite weapons in the game, and uh, I would love to mod the graph out of it. So... Uh, I'm always keeping my eyes open, I'm always taking as many chances as I can to locate blueprints. Oh, we got some bandages. Hoorah. Alright, so now, we're going to go ahead and take on this frenzy giant situation next door. And see if maybe he'll drop me a yellow ticket instead of a red one. I know, I know, I should be hunting red ones, but I know I'm not going to get the red crate. Uh, on this bunker run, pretty sure I've got a ways to go on that situation. So, I'd be happy with just a yellow one. Should I save the rest of that box? Thank you, Mr. Frenzy Giant for that yellow ticket. Muchly appreciate that. Okay, we're gonna check out his locker here. What did he leave behind? Got ourselves another yellow ticket. Thank you very much. Five to go. And we will be able to open up that yellow ticket crate and see what kind of goodies we get inside of there. But right now we got a couple of toxic spinners to deal with. So we're going to go ahead and move some things around, and, uh, ooh, it's going to be close. We've got a machete. Again, hopefully it stands up to the task. Well, if I can sneak up onto this guy, I think we got it here. Because that's only two, and that should be four. Oh, yeah, plenty of room. Only a green ticket? Are you kidding me? Alright, Frenzy Giants, you are next. Take any chance I can to get them yellow tickets. Yellow ticket, yeah, boys! Four more. And we have a crate. Um, right, I can't put that there, so let's put that there. Let's put that there, and then we can move that. We are running out of resources very quickly. There's no sneaking up on this guy, so I'm just going to have to face the forward. And 
remember that I do not indeed have that. Oh, don't get cornered there. And I do want to save the rest of this machete. And so, I'm gonna go ahead and jump my way back onto that elevator really quick. I can put a couple things away and uh, re-equip. I just want to save that machete. Um, just in case it's needed for the crafting of some mods. Saving all the moddable weapons as they die. And uh, I'd like to continue on that uh, process. It's a lot of grinding to get these things. I understand that and I'm willing to do that. If it means I can mod my machete. Alright, let's drop off a few things here. That should be good. How was my armor doing? Alright, machete is toast. Throw some bandages in there. I've got any carrots left? Indeed, we do, we do, we do. Some big beans. Keep them red packs inside. I'll put that machete away. I'm gonna carry that pistol because it does have like one or two shots left, um, and it may come in handy. Uh, still, so I think that's good. I think we're ready to dive back in, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Let's head on down to floor three of the bunker. Glorious expedition for young kids. Yellow tickets is what I want. I have plenty of green ones at home. There's a whole nother crate right there. Uh, I am seriously running out of weapons here. So let's see if we can do the toxic spitter here with the nine iron. And then we'll do the Frenzy Giants with the paddle. And uh, hopefully, hopefully. Ticket, thank you very much. Eat up some big carrots. I'll just see better or something. Alrighty, now we got a couple of guys caged up over here. Use that pistol. Giant, do it. Uh oh. I'm not 
break in there. Alright, so now on the other side of this we have two toxic abominations to deal with before we can get to the fancy giant's door. And that means we are pushing our luck in a serious way here. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure what to do here. Uh, I am actually uh, a little concerned about this situation. Um, I suppose I can use up this pistol. still have a couple of shotguns back at the base, I'd rather not have to use them. Hopefully this yellow chest, should we acquire it at this point, uh, does contain at least one AR and shotgun, uh, if not quite boned. Um, also because we do need a couple of pistols in order to get through floor one of the bunker again next time, and uh, you know, we really don't have that anymore. And so, yeah, I'm beginning to wonder if it's really worth this push to get that yellow card. I kind of have to now. I've got no choice. I've committed. So I guess this is what we're going to be doing. Uh, let's go ahead and drop some things off here. And we will pick up. Yeah. I'm kind of dusty here. Definitely gonna have to go pick up that other shotgun. So let's use the shotgun. And uh, hopefully this will make us, or help us make our way to that 25th yellow ticket that we are so very close to, and yet so far. All right, here we go. Go ahead and click that. Um, I kind of do want to just use up the pistol first before I get into that shotgun. I would rather use the heavier weapons for the hard mode so that I can make it to the blind one, let alone kill the blind one. At this point, I will definitely have to be going back to my base collecting more weapons and hopefully hopefully we can have enough. Oh I should have brought the AR I suppose. Oh c'est la vie Uh, maybe what I'll be able to do here now is switch to the melee weapon and save some of the for later. This is gonna hurt just the slightest bit. Eat some carrots. Keep wailing on this guy. Eat some more carrots. Keep wailing on this guy. Eat some more carrots. Keep wailing on this guy. Maybe I eat one too many carrots that time. Alright. Show me yellow ticket. Thank you very much. Two yellow tickets to go. We're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, hopefully, by the time we've cleared out this little section here, we should have obtained the number of tickets required. But, uh... There's still a few things that stand in our way. These two toxic spitters, for example. 
are very much in the way. Can we sneak up on them somehow? No. Oh my goodness, the hammer is horrible. Die, Spitter, die. Thank you very much. Alright, you can drop things too, sir. Uh, just the fun of you. And it's only a Okay. Oh yeah, one to go. Let's get some health on here. The chopper goes by overhead. Uh, pull out that pistola. Got the shotgun at the ready just in case. We'll take on this frenzy giant right here. Oh, we have no armor. Lovely, lovely day. Thank you very much, and that is as far as I need to go because I am seriously low on resources now. Let's see what you dropped me. Oh, you did leave me a machete. That's nice of you. Maybe we'll make our way up to the door there. We did take down some damage on that other friends and giant around the corner. We did get him a green ticket. Caught some aluminum wire. Let's keep it going. Um, we do have another machete to work with, so why don't we go ahead and work with it. We'll kill off these baked beans. We'll take down that frenzy giant that we're almost done now anyway. Whoa, how did you aggro on me first? That's fine. Let's switch up our stuff really quick here. Frenzy giant shotgun ring. Red ticket. Thank you very much. All right, now we can equip that machete. As I was saying, we've got our baked beans. And we'll go ahead and see if we can't, uh, uh no, we can't sneak up. We can certainly, certainly take him down. And, uh, take his goods. Alright, that's enough. I'm gonna stop there because. I don't want to use any more shotgun range, and that's the only thing I've got left for taking on that next frenzy giant. So we're going to head back onto the top. Um, we are going to suit up in our last suit of armor. We are going to pick up the last of our guns. We are going to engage hard mode, and we're going to punch our way through as far as we can before we have to return to base and restock. Uh, hopefully I can at least make it to the door, um, because that way, you know, I can pick out exactly what I want to bring for this, uh, blind one challenge and not have to worry about having too much or too little in my inventory. So, uh, you know, we're going to go ahead and punch a hole and see how far we can get here. Equip up some armor, drop off some tins. Reshuffle our deck and uh, that's gonna do it. That's what we've got, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we've got. Uh, we have two shotguns at home, perhaps another M16. Um, I don't remember for sure, for sure, but uh, let's go ahead and see how far we can go. I'm sure you can, if I could find the things that I needed to give to you, so that you can give me a floppy disk. But until then, ah, uh, yeah. I'll need to deal with you later. Finish off some baked beans here. Let's go ahead and equip an AR. Make our way down to floor three and let's see what happens next here. 
I'm just not going to Last stand there. Travelings here. We're still playing away. Working our way down to floor three in the hard mode. And, uh, let's see how far we can get. Now, I don't usually do hard mode. Um, I've seen it done many a time. General idea. But, uh, yeah. Again, the greatest player in the world. No. I just like that. up half of my AR and you didn't give me a damn thing. What do we got here? Oh, we got some cold beer. Well, gee, thank you very much. But not what I'm looking for. Oh, we didn't even open that yellow crate yet. I forgot all about that, ladies and gentlemen. I, I forgot all about that. We'll get there. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, throw down our bandage. We'll Probably go ahead and do this in a couple of cycles here. Using that elevator to our advantage. Nope, not the frenzy giant. Going up. Whew. Alrighty. So now where do we stand here? Why don't we go ahead and open up that yellow crate and find out? Here do we go. Got ourselves another AR, another pistol, thank you very much. Some more med packs and some more bandages. Ooh, there's an engine part there. We've got a lens, some more gasoline for the chopper, and another set of armor just in case. So we should be good to go. Um, I wish I could remember what order things come in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put, uh, let's equip this one that away there uh probably won't need that let's take this out though beer away and we'll set ourselves up now with our battle crate to work with right now. So, uh, let's go ahead and do this. Oops. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use some shotgun rain on this exploder boy and uh, hopefully be able to clear him up pretty quickly. We've got a couple of zombies left in our way on the way to the blind one. And uh, so we shall make as quick of work of them as we possibly can. We'll probably dip ski back up to the first floor one more time once we get to the door. Just to make sure that everything's in place and in order when we're ready to go and take on the blind one. 
And that will be the last step in our hunt for another raid. So I am super excited to be doing this. And so... Oh, I forgot to... me out, man. Oh, thank you very much. Go ahead and take out a health there. Band-aids in place where they ought to be. We'll go ahead and take out this, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and take this turret down. Hopefully it drops us some turret parts and the heat sensor, because uh, I'm working on it. Setting up them turrets and gates, and uh, we're running a little shy. Lots of heat sensors, among other things. Obviously, the ranches are huge, and now that they've added that, uh. What? Man. Now that they've added wrenches as part of the formula to set up your radio tower, I am seriously low. Seriously low on wrenches. And so that's put turrets on hold because I'm sorry, the radio tower is much more important in my estimation. Shotgun ring T. Uh, the radio is much more important in my estimation than having that third turret up and operational. Um, been a hell of a grind getting two of them, and I don't mind a bit of a grind more to get that third one. Uh, we're gonna take some chances here. Drop some pistola in as backup. Oh, yeah. No, I'd like to use that shotgun in a more controlled environment, so why don't we do this? get stuck. They're supposed to get stuck. They're not supposed to get stuck. They're supposed to get stuck. Alright. Y'all didn't drop me nothing. Are you kidding me? What the hell's going on around here? Alright. And that brings us the blind one's door. <gasps> womp, 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 womp. Alright, where are we at now? We need... to go and better prepare for this. Um, I want to make sure that this happens properly. I don't want to screw this up. Like I say, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I want to go on a raid, and this is the last step along that process. I want to make sure it's done right. Oh, don't alert that frenzy giant over there. We don't want to have to deal with him. So I've got M16, I've got M16, I've got a little bit of pistol left as far as damage dealing goes, we should be alright now, I want to go ahead and equip a full set of armor, and uh, make sure our med kits are safely tucked away in that pocket slot, as they should be, we'll go ahead and drop some things off, that we don't need, and uh, Fill up our health bar to maximum. Gun oil, I think, comes home now. It used to be something that you gave to the engineer guy over there. But uh, I believe that now it's something that's taken home and used in the gun bench or some such like this. I can't remember exactly goes in the weapons bench or what not, but I'm going to take it home with me. Uh, floor three, ladies and gentlemen, 
boys and girls, it is time for the blind one. Wow. I'm actually really nervous. I think I've done this three times. I failed horribly one of those times. I did succeed one time and now I'm back to try it again. Ah, uh, and we excited the frenzied giant. We really don't want to do that right now. We'll put that on hold. And uh, what that means is that gives me a moment. To fill my pipe. Fill it up. Good luck, of course. Floor three. I'm pretty sure that because I took the elevator, the uh, frenzy giant there is going to go back to normal. Fingers crossed, because I don't want to have to deal with that. hallway. I've got time. <coughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, fellow survivors, it is time for the blind one. Let's get it on. not good ladies and gentlemen boys and girls we have been killed by the blind one apparently i was a little bit too close when he ran into that wall there and uh that's all it takes so uh my body is back there in the blind one's lair and i am not sure how to deal with that situation oh i do have a couple more ars that is good maybe i'll bring some shotgun rain down upon him But to do that, I might as well bring a full one. Let's see what we've got in our armor chest. We have um that's not gonna survive. Alright, so we've got pants. <coughs> we've got a shirt. We've got a hat. And we got some boots. Eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now the problem is is the med kits, right? Oh, I do have a stack. Oh, right. Okay, we are good. We are good. Okay. Whew. I was getting really worried there for a moment. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and equip that shotgun. We're going to go ahead and equip that med packs. 
and uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, no, I did not want to change into those. I want to keep those on. Hopefully, hopefully this armor will hold up to the test. Um, I am like freaking nervous. I am shaking right now. Um, but we got to do what we got to do. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, I lost a couple of ARs in that scene along with my backpack and some other goodies. And that is the only thing standing in our way for our next raid. And so I have to. I have to go back. I have no choice in that. Uh -huh. The blind one really freaks me out. I know it's stupid easy. All you have to do is get out of his way. Uh, no. Uh, I'd love to, but not right now. Uh, bigger fish to fry. Um, and so I will see you shortly. back on an advertisement and a couple of loading screens later and we are back on floor three of bunker alpha in hard mode on our way to go finish off the blind one um hopefully he doesn't regenerate health in the meantime because that would kind of suck but i do have a full shotgun and uh i still have a stack of med kits so hopefully i have enough med kits to finish him off and hopefully the shotgun will do and hopefully i don't die because my body's still in his lair and i don't want to lose i definitely don't want to lose all that good shit that i have in there and so we're gonna go ahead and creep around this last set here just in case i don't want to have to engage anything more than the blind one right now uh because he's gonna take everything i've got and then some where are we at? Hello, my friend, and we are back, and you are fully healed. Oh, crap. Three, four, five. What is this now? Oh no! Oh no! Well, it appears as though the blind one got stuck. That's right, he's stuck in the wall. I can't shoot him. He can hit me. Which makes me wonder. Um, but I did manage to get everything back from him, which is cool by me. And, uh... Uh... Now, he regenerated last time I left. So, maybe... Maybe, 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 if I leave and come back, then he will return to the center and I can take him on again. So why don't I go up and talk to the engineer guy and give him some things and then I'll come back down and check on the blind one and see what he's up to. And hopefully we don't have to wait two days to do this again, because that would really suck. That would really suck.
big Mr. Specialist, I have a few items for you. Uh, we're about a third of the way to that first floppy tip. Floppy disk, so uh Yeah. It'll be a while. Like I say, I don't usually do the hard mode because I don't usually have enough equipment. Like I barely make it through as it is. So I'm fairly certain Vine One is not going to be dumping green or yellow tickets on us. Uh, do we have any health other than that bandages? No, we don't. So let's go ahead and heal up. And we'll go back down one more time. We'll check on the Blind One, see how he's doing. Hopefully be able to take him on again. Uh, and hopefully not die this time. Because it is him who must die. He must die right now. Oh, uh, yeah, he's back. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. Uh, let's re-equip that shotgun. Um, because at least we don't have to deal with that recoil issue we, we did with the AR. Um, we're starting to miss quite a bit. And uh, I think that beyond that, we should be good. Uh, I really shouldn't have brought all this extra stuff with me. Smart gamer never brings his full supply just in case he may die. So we're going to go ahead and drop stuff off right here in this crate. We'll pick it up on the way back if need be. And we'll leave ourselves an AR and we'll leave ourselves some med kits. And, uh, hopefully that's enough. No, I just have to freaking kill him, don't I? Yeah, I just have to kill him. I just, it just, it just, it has to end right here, right now. And so it shall. Here we go. Hey, Mr. Blind One, thank you for coming out of your little hole in the wall there. I really appreciate it. Don't run into me this time. Thank you very much. Shotgun range you. Oh my god, I didn't hit the health pack fast enough. 
Oh my god. I'm gonna have to take it. I'm gonna have to give this a break and come back. Um, because, uh, yeah, I just failed again, which means that he's back up to full health. And, uh, most of my med kits are in that backpack now. And, uh, <laughs> I'm crying right now on the inside. So, with that, I should bid you farewell for now. Best of luck to you all survivors in your endeavors. And, uh, hopefully, hopefully, you do a little better than I did. Till next time, Chabu Link sign off. And we're back yet again. Uh, fellow survivors, we have indeed gone back and rescued our buddy from the blind one's lair again. Tried to take him out again, uh, and ran out of weapons. Um, so, he is again back at a thousand health. And we are going to have to do something about this situation. We're going to have to do it pretty quick. I got 12 hours left before the bonker respawns. And uh, I am determined to take down the blind one. Uh, so I think I've learned a couple of things along the way. Um, one of the things that I think that I might have learned is that if you're dealing with the blind one, um, given the fact that you only have a short amount of time to uh, do as much damage as you can, I highly recommend that you uh, use a shotgun and or pistol, as uh, you don't have to worry about the recoil. Um, I was noticing that um, by the, th the third or fourth time that I was attacking the blind one, I was missing a lot more than I was hitting with the assault rifle and uh i think that was causing me some some problems there so we're gonna go ahead and do this shotgun rain style we're gonna have a pistol as backup and uh beyond that uh we'll have a couple of ars in our invent whoa i grabbed the, the the frenzy giant again don't want to deal with him sorry about that give me a minute i'm just a little bit anxious to get this over with so i can get on with my raiding life um or just life in general i just want this out of the way so that i don't have to think about it anymore until next time that i have to think about it so, uh, most likely what's going to happen here is I am going to kill the blind one and then I'm going to take a break. Um, I'm going to take a break from this game for a little while so that, uh, you know, I can calm down and come back at it with a level head for the raid. Uh, but for now, we are going to put the pressure back on the blind one here. I am going to creep past the Frenzy Giant. I do not want to have to fight him first. I do not want to have to waste my guns, my precious guns, on a blind one. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's uh, go ahead and equip some of this uh, better armor here. Now, hopefully this is enough weapons to actually take out the blind one because that was my last problem um i am hugely low on health items uh hence all the food in my inventory i'm hoping that that's going to be enough health for me to accomplish this because uh, i'm pretty low on everything at this point um here we go we'll sneak past these guys and we're back. We are back. Hello, Mr. Blind One. We are back. 
to play some more. Hopefully, hopefully. It goes well this time and it goes in my favor. Getting a little creeped out here, guys. Getting a little nervous here, guys. I think that if you're not nervous doing this, there's something wrong with you. down he goes thank you very much oh my goodness i'm so glad that that is over with we're gonna make our way back up to the first floor we are gonna go check in with the specialist we're gonna drop off the things we're gonna check on our red ticket count and we're probably just gonna make our way straight back home because i do not want any more problems right now? I'm shaking like a freaking leaf over here. Let's uh, clean up the inventory here a little bit. And make sure we get everything. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, go ahead and eat our steakers. We're not leaving anything behind. We are not wanting to come back down here for any reason whatsoever. Not really worried if we aggro him, but apparently if we run along the wall there, it's far enough away that we don't. Good to know for later. Good to know that the shotgun works amazingly well for the blind one. 25 damage per shot takes him down really quickly. You'll want one and a half of those bad boys to take him out. I wasn't even going to try the thing with the pistol because I don't want to die again. Oh boy. Alright, we're going to take some stuff over to the specialist here. We'll give him some notebooks. We'll give him some dog tags. We'll even give him some punches. Oh, and that looks like more than halfway to our first floppy disk. Freaking amazing. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to load up on some goodies. And uh, make our way back to base here. Let's drop a couple of things. I'm going to go ahead and put everything into one crate so that I don't have to worry whether or not I'm forgetting anything. Thank you. 
All right, we'll go ahead and empty this guy's room too. Um, let's use some AR for that. Save that shotgun just in case we have to do this whole thing over again. Woo! Got me a wrench. I am so glad I opened that door. All right, now let's make sure we bring back the more important stuff. Cause, just cause, take some glue, take some gasoline, uh, I'll do this, here we go, take that, I'll take that, I'll take that, I'll take that. Obviously, I'm coming back for the rest. I don't leave these things behind. But that should be good for now. So we'll go ahead and head on back to the base. We'll drop some things off. We'll start the transport run back and forth to make sure we get everything out of the bunker. And then we'll be back for our next run. I'm super excited. But I'm also super jittery after taking on that blind one, and I'm not, not interested in attempting a raid in this current state. So, we're going to take five, and we'll come back. So until then, ladies and gentlemen, fellow survivors, we'll sign off.